What's up guys? I'm John, I'm an owner over here at Advanced Fiberglass Concepts and next to me we have Frank's Bronco. So we're gonna be doing the eight inch kit, Ram Air Hood. So just to walk around real quick, eight inch fenders, eight inch fender liners, Ram Air Hood, eight inch rear kit and eight inch liners as well. So stay tuned, we're gonna show you the entire install process. The install process is going to seem long, but I'm going to give a detailed uh, description of it. So obviously you have a fully stocked Bronco in front of you and you have our parts laying down on the ground. So step one is you need to remove the factory parts. So starting with the front end, let's do the hood. You simply open the hood up, loosen the four bolts in the rear, take off the uh, catch up in the front. You're going to put the uh, catch onto our hood, bolt it down you're going to then remove the factory hood from your vehicle and put it elsewhere. You can sell it, you can put it in the garage, just wall art, whatever you wanna do. You're gonna drop our hood in place. You're gonna lightly bolt down the four bolts in the rear, two in the passenger, two in the driver. While it's loose, you're simply gonna look at the driver gap and the passenger gap. You're gonna confirm both are the same width. Once you confirm that, you're gonna lightly lift the hood up. You're gonna bolt down the two on the right, two on the left, close the hood and make sure the gap still stayed consistent. You're gonna add the catch plate up front, you're gonna close the hood and you're done with the hood. The hood's a five, 10 minute install, it's really easy. Jumping to the fenders next, you will start with pulling the factory flare off. You're going to unbolt the hood line, the door line, the two at the bottom and up front also by the valance. Once you pull off the grill, pull off the valance, pull off the plastic insert, you're going to unbolt all the bolts from the fender. You're gonna pull the entire fender off the vehicle you're gonna test fit our fender, mark all the holes, drill them out and bolt them down. And once the fender is completely bolted down, you're gonna reinstall the valance. It does require a small modification to the black plastic fastening device for the valance. You simply cut off these two knobs, notch the edge of it, add two inserts. That way when you reinstall the actual insert, you put it into the valance, slip it into the fender flare and bolt it down from the backside. The reason that you have to do that is because we incorporated a cool flare addition that comes all the way down to the edge of the valance. So the modification is required to fasten the valance down properly. Once that's all done, you can simply slip the liners up and into the actual uh, fender area and fasten it down with some M6 bolts. Back's really similar as well. I mean, if you have a soft top, you can simply fold the soft top up, peel it up as well. That way you can get to the, the bolts that are on top of the bed rail. If you have a hard top, you do need to take the hard top off the vehicle. That way you can get to the bed rail bolts. But the way the rear works is you're simply going to loosen the bed rail bolts. There's two bolts in the door area and there's two bolts hidden beneath the rear bumper cap pull the entire quarter panel off the vehicle. At that point, you can install our custom liner, which is for the five inch kit and the eight inch kit. The two inch kit reuses the factory liners because they reach. Install the rear quarter panel as well, bolt that down. Once the rear quarter panel is all fitted up, the liner is installed, we're simply gonna start installing the rear bumper cap as well. So we throw the stock piece back on. We like to drill a hole from the rear quarter panel directly to our custom cap as well. The reason behind that is it is a small piece. We have double-sided tape that holds it down, but that insert with the bolt to the rear quarter panel will solidify it and it will not go anywhere. It's gonna be on your vehicle for good. Well, not for good, you can unbolt and take it off, but it's not going anywhere. And the last step for the rear is you're gonna be adding the door caps as well. So we like to sand the backside of the cap and the rear bumper cap for proper adhesion so the actual tape can stick properly to it. Then you're simply going to push and hold the door cap against the vehicle with a 3M double-sided tape. That way it all lines up. You can button up the rear by adding the hard top or the soft top back to it and you're done. The install process all in all, we can do it in about eight to 12 hours entirely from start to finish. So it's a pretty quick and easy process. So if it's your first time doing the install, I would just plan a weekend project, honestly. That way you can get both front and rear done and the hood. It's very, very simple.